So in today's video, we're going to take a look at the artillery Sidewinder. Sorry, I just had to say it like that. It sounds so cool. But anyway, in today's video, we're going to go over the artillery Sidewinder X4 Pro. Let's take a look. So we're looking at 240 by 240 by 260 millimeter build volume on this thing, and it can print up to 500 millimeters per second. That's pretty daggum quick. It does have the clipper firmware, pressure advance and input shaping, and also comes with 81 points of auto leveling. That's really cool there. So one thing that it does have on it that I like, it does have the resume printing. So if you pause the print on there, you can resume it back in the same place that it was at originally. And yes, it does have Wi-Fi on it. And some of the standard features that it comes with, like most printers today, it does have the dual rod structure on the back to keep stability, to keep the printer on task, and uh, not a lot of shifting or anything like that. And this thing isn't hard to assemble at all. It's like 98% already put together for you. You basically have like four screws to put on the gantry and then the rest is just putting the sensor the filament sensor and the filament holder on and it's pretty much done all set up and ready to go we're getting ready to start our first print you know i got to print a benchy and we're going to use this filament here this is like a red and black combination here And in 40 minutes, check it out, we got our little banshee here. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> this is pretty wild. This thing was moving. Now, I've never been one to care about speed, but that was fun to watch. And so, uh, here we go. We're getting ready to print something else here. Let's see. Hmm. Let's print a couple of things and try this filament out, too. What do you say? All right, let's start off with something simple here. Let's go into the menu here and see what they got for test prints. Let's see what they got here. Auto files. Let's see here. Let's go with this vase here. Ah, oh, that looks pretty cool. And let's print it. And after watching this thing put down the first couple of layers, this thing is really, really moving. All right, and it is finished. It took three hours and 52 minutes. Uh, let's get it off the build plate here. All right, look at that. Kind of neat. So this thing is structured pretty well. I mean, it's, it's pretty sturdy. And um, I mean, for it to be that quick and print that sturdiness i guess you could say is pretty damn good so we're going to see what can print on here next so i like how when you load up with some new filament here uh you just press the feed button on here it's got a feed mechanism just feed it through there and get you started on your next project and of course it does have the light up feature you do have an LED right up underneath here so you can see your project whenever you're printing something on it. Um, it does have the removable bed here. Uh, so again, much easier on the removal of your project as well. And I do like the fact that it does have the feed sensor in there. So green means it's good to go. Red means it's uh, either going to be empty. There's no uh, filament going through there. And it's a direct line extruder. All right, so now we're going to print the skull planner here. This is a file from Uncle Jesse, and I downloaded it. Always wanted to print it. And I'm going to print it in this uh, rainbow filament right here that I just had lying around. Let's see what happens. And here we are laying down the first part of it. 
And after six hours and 28 minutes, 26 minutes, whatever, we got this planter here. <laughs> and that's so cool with that filament. It's a nice design here, so yeah. Yeah, that turned out really, really cool. No supports on the inner or anything like that. Turned out really nice. So in my last video, I resin printed this figure here. And remember, I didn't have a base. So actually, I'm going to use this printer here to print a base for this guy. And this is one thing that these style printers are great for doing for resin statues. And that's printing bases that are more sturdy, more stable, and a little bit more structured to hold weight. And so this is what I'm going to be using this for, for this base right here. And after three hours and 26 minutes, voila. Got a little bit of a base going on here. Got a little prep work to do on it. But uh, yeah, turned out okay. So I did print another one of these bases, a little bit bigger than the last one that I printed. I wanted to get a little bit better quality on this first one here. I got a little bit of what looks like chipping on there. And I think this had to do with some of the temperature that was in the room because it was fairly cold in here. So I decided to go a little bit bigger and the actual result turned out a lot more a lot better and uh, just a little sanding a little filling and uh, we got ourselves a base here not to mention on the first one the reason i think it was a temperature is because i did have a little bit of a shift right there and uh, not by the fault of the printer itself but it like i said it had to do something with the temperature i believe anyway this one turned out much better and i'm super satisfied with it so if you are interested in purchasing this printer, it is available over on artillery3d.com. There's a link below in the description. Right now it's on sale for, I think, $2.99. There's also a couple of links in the description to tell you about some other savings that you can benefit on. And I think this printer should be shipping out anytime now. Maybe some people have already had it. If not, you should be receiving yours pretty shortly. I think the time frame for this to get out is anywhere from late January to early February, which is about right now. Also in the description is a link to my Patreon. If you want to support the channel by those means, please go down there and check it out. We also have model of the month and a private discord. And I do want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon members. Without them, these videos probably wouldn't be possible. I will say that if you're getting into 3D printing, this is the perfect printer for you. It's a great price point, simple to assemble, simple to use. They take pretty much all the guesswork out of it. It's a very accurate printer to the point to where you're not going to get frustrated just from screwing up or just having bad prints because it's just so easy to use. It prints. That's what it does. Or for you guys out there that have the print farms, this is a quick and efficient printer for you. I've never personally been one into speed for prints or anything, but I know a lot of people out there are totally into that, and this can definitely help you with production if that's what your thing is. All right, everybody, you know the drill. Like and subscribe. Also, leave some comments below if you like this content, and stay safe out there. Get out and create something. Print, prep, paint, repeat. And until the next video or the next review, we'll see you. And if you want to know what the model of the month last month was, working on them right now, Deathlock. Make sure to check out the Patreon and get on that $10 tier. You can still get this one.